when graphing quadratic functions, we're expecting to see a parabola. Um, and, it, and it's helpful to have a little bit of knowledge before you go ahead and start plotting points. So for one thing, uh, key points on the parabola are going to be the vertex, um, x-intercepts, sometimes there are no x-intercepts, and then possibly two other points. Okay, so how do we find the vertex when we're given an equation in standard form here? Right. First, I'll use that formula, the vertex formula. The x-coordinate is negative b over 2a. So in our case, b is 6, a is negative 1. So I'll say negative 6 over 2 times negative 1, which becomes a positive 3. So now I have the x-coordinate, and I should plug that in to find the y-coordinate. So we get f of 3 is negative 3 squared plus 6 times 3 minus 5. All right, so what is that? Negative 9 plus 18 minus 5, uh, that's 4. So my vertex now, I know, is 3 comma 4, and I can go ahead and plot that here on the graph. Over 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4. There's my vertex. The other thing I know is that because there's a negative in front of the x squared, that tells, tells us that the graph has been flipped down, so it opens down. It opens down because a is negative, right? The coefficient of x squared is negative. Okay, so just thinking ahead, that tells us that it's going to be a parabola looking like this. So I should expect to see two x-intercepts. If the parabola was had this vertex and it opened up, notice that I would not have any x-intercepts. So I probably wouldn't want to go ahead and solve for them. All right, so let's go ahead and find those two points. The x-intercepts, that's where the height, the output of the function is equal to zero. So I'll say negative x squared plus 6x minus 5. Set that equal to zero and solve. Um, I think what I want to do here is factor. Uh, here's a little tip. If you want to solve a quadratic equation by factoring and the lead coefficient is negative, go ahead and multiply both sides by a negative 1, and that'll get rid of that pesky first negative sign for you. So multiplying this by negative 1, I get positive x squared minus 6x plus 5 equals 0. All right, and now I like to make this little factor diagram. Think of two numbers that multiply to 5 and add to negative 6. So I've got negative 1 times negative 5. Those two guys multiply to positive 5, add to negative 6. So I know I can factor this as x minus 1 times x minus 5. And then you can set each factor equal to 0. I'll solve this equation by adding 1 to both sides and solve this equation by adding 5 to both sides. So now this gives me my two x-intercepts, and I can write them as ordered pairs, like 1 comma 0 and 5 comma 0. Let's go ahead and plot those points. Here's 1, 0. Here's 5, 0. All right, and now you can go ahead. All you really need is three points in order to draw the parabola, um, but just because it's probably asked on your homework, I'll just find two more points. Uh, one of the easiest numbers to plug in is uh, 0. So when x is 0, f of 0 is, well, 0 squared plus 6 times 0 minus 5, so negative 5. All right, let's go ahead and plot that point. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It should, you know, kind of look like it's completing a parabola. And here's a little tip also. Parabolas are nice and symmetric. They have like a line of symmetry right through the vertex. So notice you've got the vertex, and then the two x-intercepts. Well, this one's two units to the left. That point is two units to the right. And then you have this point that I just found, which is, three units to the left. So if I go one, two, three units to the right at that same height, 
I get another point. So if this point here was 0 comma negative 5, this point, which has x coordinate, uh, what is this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, x coordinate 6, 6 comma negative 5. So I didn't actually have to do any work. I just used the fact that it's symmetric. And then what you want to do is connect these points by a nice smooth curve. Make sure you don't have like a corner, like a point up there. It's, it's a nice curve, like a C looking, U looking thing. All right, so that's how we would graph this quadratic. Again, this one was in standard form. This one over here is in vertex form. So it's a little bit easier for me to calculate the vertex. The x coordinate is the opposite of this one, of this number. So x minus h. Uh, so the x coordinate will be a positive 2. And then this number here represents the y coordinate, negative 16. All right, so this is a little annoying because I only have like 10 tick marks on my graph. So what I'm going to do is just kind of scale things. I'll make each tick mark on the y-axis represent uh, two units. Okay, so negative 2, negative 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. There we go. And I'll still have my x-coordinates be one unit, so this will be 1, 2, 3. Um, just to make it a little bit easier on myself. So again... Just looking at the equation, I can find what the vertex is. And now here's a tip for finding those x-intercepts. Again, it's, it's opening up because this is positive. The vertex is down here, so if it opens up, I am going to find some x-intercepts. Um, but when your equation is in vertex form, setting it equal to 0, it's actually easiest not to like multiply that all out and then factor. The easiest thing to do is to keep this squared and use the square root method. I'll add 16 to both sides. x squared minus 2 squared equals 16. And now I can undo the square by square rooting both sides. You'll get, I don't know why I wrote this square. Sorry, go back. x minus 2 squared equals 16. And then we square root both sides. I apologize for that. And you get x minus 2 equals plus or minus square root of 16 is 4. Okay, and at this stage, what this means, this is actually two equations. You get x minus 2 equals 4, and x minus 2 equals negative 4. And then we can solve those two. Add 2 to both sides, you get x equals 6. Here, adding 2 to both sides, I get x equals negative 2. All right, let's go ahead and plot those points. That's 6 comma 0 and negative 2 comma 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and negative 1, negative 2. All right. All right, and then we can always um, plot two more points. Um, again, a nice one to plug in would be, uh, would be 0. I like to plug in 0. So two more points. When x is 0, you get g of 0 equals 0 minus 2 squared minus 16. So that'll be negative 2 squared, which is 4 minus 16, or a negative 12. So I got 0 comma negative 12. That's the y-intercept, right? Let's go ahead and plot that, remembering that I have a different scale here. So it's 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. 10, 12 should kind of make sense. And then I can also find another point by being kind of lazy using some information. I have this point plotted on the graph. That's two units to the left of the center line. So I go two units to the right and find a, um, another point. So this point is 4, comma, negative 12. All right, and then just connecting those points by a nice, smooth curves. Put arrows on the end to indicate that it goes on forever.